I like to put everything back to basic first, back to the nature, material nature. I'm Jaffa Lam. Um, so this is my studio in Potan, that is uh, in the new territories of Hong Kong. Uh, this is an industrial area. I put everything uh, in here. Uh, store everything is here because too many work in the last 20 years Sometimes I will forget and then I will come here to dig out my old work and see how they are and uh, But most of the time I come here is to work Because I know what is here all the tools here all the materials here come here just for the woodwork I would say I came here is 2008, and then uh, that is at the time I'm trying to initiate a project, community project. Actually, at that time I was an organizer. The Hong Kong Women Worker Association, they are the organization supporting the female workers and also retirement uh, workers. Their work is very interesting about recycled umbrella uh, fabric. And then we start to talk about that. And what I care is really about who is making them. I try to talk to those workers and uh, to understand their situation, why were they being here and then uh, how they work. I'm also from this kind of uh, grassroots background. So, for example, like uh, women workers uh, district, you know, in that district, I grew up from there and I grew up in the garment industry area and work in the factory. We craftsmen, we always uh, respect the other people if they are very good craft as well. So I think this is a neutral respect for each other. That's why we can make friends. And uh, it's uh, very important to being with them. I feel the energy. I feel the working energy. So every time if I see how they work for me, of course, that is a big motivation for me to work faster and better. <laughs> This is a place I first found it in 2009 when I moved into Fortan area. So actually this is just downstairs and then I came in and then to see, you know, what they are doing. So and then find Longsan. We have uh, so many chat actually, not only making my work, he would tell me what kind of something he is making. He is not making only for commercial. So he said, this is something I made for my kid. This is something I made for myself or for my home. It's it, because he is a retired guy. And it's very interesting to know his life. The thing is, um, he got so many old stuff and he don't feel like uh, this is something good for, you know, giving to the client. So he always store here. And then I would tell him, oh, this is something I like. Can I have that? Can I make it into my artwork? And then he always say, why your work is so ugly and rusty? and then, the work I'm going to show in Art Basel and Counter section is a combining six trolleys. I give him the second one and then he getting excited. The one he said, oh, this is funny. <laughs> so this is, a, now this is the last one. And uh, finally, he told me, now I get you. Every time if I work with the material, I will always uh, think about what the material want to share anything with me. I will count the time is a one of the elements in my material, whatever the metal, whatever the wood and the fabric. So because of the time, and then it becomes like that. And because I also think we are meeting each others in the right time. I'm in this age, that's why I met them here now. Start from the beginning, I really want to be like, uh, know each other because this is uh, like a family. We have to work like, uh, I would say domestic industry, you know, it's like a family industry. 
I always uh, go to their home to have meal, dinner. So that is uh, somehow we make friends and then we're very often together. So we keep always rushing like a battles for the exhibition, you know, the deadline and then, but they always calm me down. They always say, yes, it's fine, it will be good. That, I think that is the best part to work with them. Someone have to pet you. Ha, ha, ha.